Figured I'd go ahead and do this video since I'm getting ready to do this. What I've got here, I've got some pawpaw seeds and I've also got some muscadine seeds. Now these seeds were laying on my countertop just drying out um, for probably a week or two. But once that's done, what I want to do is I want to stratify them. And there's several ways to do this. But since I'm going to plant these seeds this coming spring, I want to go ahead and do it a specific way. Now, if I'm doing long-term seed storage where I'm going to maybe plant the seeds in a year or two, I'll just take the seeds after they've dried out on the counter. I'll stick them into a plastic bag and stick them in the deep freezer. But since I'm going to plant these in the spring, I need to stratify them so that way they'll go ahead and sprout and grow. Now what stratify does is it simulates that they have gone through a winter. Because if you just take the seeds now and plant them without doing that, they won't sprout. So the way that you stratify seeds is generally what I do is over winter, while the seeds are indoors, I lay them on a paper towel. Then we fold the paper towel over onto itself so that the seeds are kind of contained mostly in the bottom part of the paper towel. Now, this is kind of the hard part for most people. We want to add some water to this paper towel, but we don't want the paper towel to be totally saturated. So you just want to add some moisture. So I'm just basically using a small container that I had. And I'm going to let this soak in. And I'm going to kind of monitor how wet the whole towel is. Like I said, I don't want it to be soaked, but I want there to be moisture in most of the paper towel. Whoops. Now if you tear the paper towel, that's not going to matter either. So I kind of think that we are about there now. It's like most of the paper towel, I'm kind of like pressing around to squeeze the water toward the edges. Most of the paper towel is wet. So I think that we're good. Now the next thing you do is you put that paper towel into a Ziploc bag and seal it up. I need both hands to do that, so I'll bring you right back. So now I've got the paper towel with the seeds folded over onto itself. The paper towel folded over onto itself with the seeds inside the Ziploc bag. You want to squeeze out as much air as possible. Then seal the end of it. Now, I kind of cheated. I already had part of it sealed when I started this video. Once that's done, you now lay that inside your refrigerator. Not in the freezer. In the refrigerator. You leave that there until probably about March or April. Then you take these out and you plant them just like you would any other seed. That is how you stratify seeds for planting in the spring. I forgot to put them in the refrigerator. The best place to put them at, believe it or not, is in like one of your drawers that are in there. I got cheese. I keep like cheese and that sort of stuff in this drawer. And uh, right there on the top is where I'll see them at. That works out perfect. So what that does, again, is that cold temperature inside the refrigerator. Generally, most refrigerators, the upper part is not below freezing but it's probably pretty close to freezing it's probably around 34 to 36 or maybe 38 degrees somewhere around there whatever temperature you keep like your milk and that sort of thing that is a low enough temperature for long enough hours to make this seed think that winter time has came that's known as chill hours every single fruit vegetable berry has a certain number of chill hours they have to have before they will sprout again. So you also hear people say, 
you know, they collected when they're doing seed to seed gardening, you hear people say something like, ah, oh, you know, I collected all these corn to plant next year and I stuck them in a paper bag and I left them on my counter and then come spring, I planted them and none of them sprouted. And the reason being is because that corn seed did not get enough chill hours for it to know that winter came. So once they planted those seeds in the ground, what then happens is either the birds or some other bugs eat them or they make it through the whole entire year and actually go through a winter and then they'll try to grow the next year. So this is again how you give seeds enough chill hours so that they'll sprout in the spring when you plant them. It's called stratifying seeds. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you find this informative. If you do, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm all the time posting videos of how I live and do things on my homestead. I'm not an expert at anything, but the ways that I do things do work. And even if they don't work for you, hopefully it'll give you some sort of a foundation that you can build your ideas from and live your life the way you want to live. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.